Hello guys, welcome to another video of Additional Mathematics. In these video sets, we are going to solve questions from your textbook one by one. If you do not want to miss our videos, please do subscribe to our channel right now. Let's start today's question. Okay, what is given in the question? We have to find modulus and amplitude of a given complex number. We have to find modulus and amplitude. Let's rewrite the question. What is given? Z is given as 1 plus cos alpha plus i sin alpha. This is the question given. We have to given question comparing with, with the standard form. What is the standard form x plus i by? So if I compare, I can just see the x value and the y value. So what is an x value? x value is 1 plus cos alpha. Ah. What is y value? Sin alpha. We have to find the first modulus. So let's find out the modulus. What is the standard formula for modulus? Modulus of z is equal to root of x square plus y square. So if I just substitute that, I'll get 1 plus cos alpha whole square plus sin alpha whole square. So if I solve that, we'll get root of 1 square plus cos alpha whole square is cos square alpha plus 1 plus uh, a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So 2 into 1 into cos alpha plus sin alpha whole square is what? Sin square alpha. Now here cos square plus sin square. Sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is nothing but equal to 1. This is what we call trigonometric identity. So we if we write that modulus of z is equal to root of 1 I already have 1. Cos square plus sin square is equal to 1 plus 2 cos alpha. So, modulus of z is equal to root of 1 plus 1 is how much? 2 plus 2 cos alpha. 2 and 2 I can take common. So, if I take common, I will get 2 into 1 plus cos alpha. Now, I can take root 2 outside because root a b is root a into root b. Root a b is what? Root a root b. So, root a into b is root a root b. Right? Now, this is another formula that you need to remember. 1 plus cos alpha is what? 2 cos square alpha by 2. So, I will get it as root 2 times 1 plus cos alpha is what? 2 cos square alpha by 2. So, root 2 into root 2 is how much? 2. Cos square and this cancel, I will get uh, cos alpha by 2. So, this is a magnet, uh, sorry, modulus of given question. Now we have to find amp. Amp of given z. Amp of given z means what? What is the formula? Tan inverse of y upon x. So this is nothing but tan inverse of what is y? y I can sign as sin alpha. What is x? 1 plus cos alpha. There is another formula that you need to remember. Sin alpha. Sin alpha is 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2. So, if I just substitute that, so tan inverse of sin alpha is what? 2 sin alpha by 2 cos alpha by 2 divided by 1 plus cos alpha is what? 2 cos square alpha by 2. This square and this get cancelled. 2, 2 get cancelled. So, tan inverse of sin by cos is what? Tan alpha by 2. This tan, this tan get cancelled. You get alpha by 2. Right? This is the amp of set. Right? See, it doesn't look simple. What is given? We are given z. There is a so many identities and there are so many formulas to remember. Don't even think it in this way. We have to study it very organized way. If we can learn that in an organized way, this will become very simple. You have to go and check out our course where we have teased all this in an organized, most organized form. Just you don't have to remember the formula. We made so many questions that you will remember the formula. We have thought in such a way. Please go and check out our course so you can learn this in very organized way, not just learning the answers for this, learning answers for any questions such as this. Okay? Chala, just revise what we have done. So, given there was a Z question, there was Z given, we have to compare this given Z with the form that is standard, that is X plus I, Y. So, comparing, we know the X value, we know the Y value. Once we know X and Y, we have the formula for modulus, but also we have the formula for amplitude. Just plug in the formula and knowing the identities and substituting, you will get the solution. Is that okay? Yes? Okay. Watch our entire additional mathematics video course, which includes all the prerequisites, 
all the basics that is enough for your exams and also we will take you from the scratch to advanced level and also we will clear all your doubts with the live interactive one on one sessions. You can see all this and the sample of our video course in the description. And if you are not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, all the best.